How to Qualify for Government Grants A government grant is an award of money that some branch of the government awards to individuals or organizations for a specified purpose. Grants differ from loans in that grants do not need to be repaid, while loans do. Government grants may come from the federal, state, or even local government. Obtaining a government grant can be a time-consuming process. You must first seek out and find grants for which you or your organization are eligible. If you are determined and well-organized, a government grant can be a very good source of support. Part 1 Researching and Finding Government Grants 1. Begin at GrantsGov for federally funded grants. In the United States, the Central Clearinghouse for Federal Grants is the website grants.gov. This site is maintained by a private organization, USA.gov, which was put into place under President Clinton to provide the public with easy access to many governmental functions. It provides a current listing of a wide variety of government grants, with information about eligibility and applying. At grants.gov, you can browse grant opportunities by category, such as arts, education, energy, law, or science, or many more. You can browse by federal agency to see which branch of the government is currently awarding grants. Some of the agencies represented include the Department of Agriculture, Department of Commerce, Department of the Interior, Small Business Administration, and many others. You can browse by eligibility. This list includes such categories as independent school districts, individuals, nonprofits either with or without 501c3 tax status, or small businesses. By selecting a group that describes you or your organization, you can narrow your search to find grants that may best suit you. 2. Use the Catalog of Federal Domestic Assistance, CFDA. The CFDA is a catalog that contains a listing of over 2,000 federal assistance programs. The CFDA is issued annually in print but is maintained continuously online. At its website, cfda.gov, you can search by key terms or by the name of the program or agency to find available grant opportunities. The CFDA site provides access to a user guide through a link at the bottom of the screen. The user guide can help you understand the site, refine your searches, and read through the results of your searches. For further help in searching the CFDA site, you can call the Federal Service Desk at 866-606-8220. At that number, you can access a recorded list of self-help topics, or you can speak with a live operator who can help you refine your search. 3. Look for Federal Business Opportunities In addition to the grants that are listed at cfda.gov, you can find information on federal business opportunities at fbo.gov. This site contains information on grants as well as contractual opportunities through federal offices or agencies. You can perform a search by key terms, including such limiting factors as your state or location, the date of the posting, or the agency offering the opportunity. For example, a search for the key term music within the past 90 days results in a list of 118 grants or other opportunities. These include such things as Protestant Music Director, Music Instruments for Guam High School, and Music Therapy for Children at U.S. Facilities in Germany. 4. Search federal agencies directly for grant opportunities. In addition to the wide range of information available at grants.gov, you may also wish to search individual federal agencies. For example, if you represent a school or school district, you may be interested to find if the Department of Education has any grants for which you may apply. You could visit the website of the Department of Education. 5. Search for grants from individual state governments. Run an internet search using the name of your state and the terms grants or grant opportunities. This will generally lead you to a centralized government website maintained by the Office of the Governor, Secretary of State or Attorney General. From there, you can search for grants that are offered by individual agencies or departments of your state government. As an example, a search for Montana State Grants leads you to the official state website montana.gov and a list of 16 different categories of grants. These include arts, wildlife, community development and others. A search for New York State Grants leads to the New York Department of State and a list of grants including a local government efficiency grant and a community services grant. Many state grants are budgeted with money that initiates from the federal government, so you may find some overlap in your state research and federal research.
6. Check with your local government for smaller grant opportunities. Some cities or towns make money available for a variety of civic projects. These are likely to occur less frequently in smaller towns, but it is still worth looking. Run a search for the name of your city and the word grants to find available grants or the local government office that helps coordinate grants. For example, a search for Baltimore Grants leads to the Baltimore City Foundation. This is an organization that makes grants to nonprofit organizations within the city of Baltimore to improve the lives of underprivileged youth and families in Baltimore. Part 2 Checking Your Eligibility 1. Read the grant's eligibility requirements carefully. Every grant is different, and each grant will say, somewhere in the application information, what type of organization is eligible to apply for the grant. Be sure to read the description of the grant carefully so you do not waste time applying for something that you cannot get. 2. Know what type of organization you represent. Government grants are often designed to be awarded to specific types of organizations. If you or your group do not fit the eligibility, then completing the application is pointless. Some of the primary types of organizations that apply for grants are government organizations. These may include state, county, city, or special district government groups. In some cases, this may also include Native American tribal governing bodies. Education organizations. These may be public school districts, private schools, independent or charter schools, or private colleges or universities. Public housing agencies. Non-profit organizations. These may include groups that either do or do not qualify for 501, C, 3, tax benefits. Small businesses. In most cases, to qualify for a loan that is classified for small businesses, your group would have to fit the definition and size classifications established by the Federal Small Business Administration. More information on that classification can be found at https www.sba.gov Contracting, Getting, Started, Contractor, Make Sure You Meet SBA Size Standards Table Small Business Size Standards Individuals Most government grants, particularly the ones offered through grants.gov, are designed for groups or organizations. However, some grants are available for individuals. 3. Verify the size of your project some grants are designed for large projects. Some are designed for smaller projects. Some do not specify. Read the application information carefully to find out if the size of the project is a determining factor, and make sure that your group, organization, or project fits within the size specifications of the grant. 4. Check for any specific location requirements. Some grants will be open to organizations or individuals that live and operate anywhere. Others will be specific to rural areas, inner, city, or some other location. Read the details carefully of any grant that interests you to ensure that you are in the right location. If you do not currently operate in the area included in a particular grant, but you could perform the work or service that is requested, then be sure to make it clear in your application that you are able to move. Part 3 Registering as an Individual at Grants.gov 1. Find a grant that interests you. The first step for applying for any federal grants that are registered through grants.gov is to do the research and find a grant. Read the details of the application. Ensure that the grant is available to individuals. Make sure that you meet any other eligibility requirements for the particular grant. Check for the type and location of the project. 2. Record the grant's FON. The FON, or Funding Opportunity Number, is a unique number that Grants.gov assigns to all the grants that it lists. When you find a federal grant through Grants.gov that interests you, make a note of this number. You will need it to continue your registration and application. Be careful to record the FON correctly. These labels are lengthy. For example, the FON for one particular grant for a community economic development project is HHS 2017 ACF OCS E 1213. Be sure to include all letters and numbers accurately. 3. Visit the GrantsGov individual registration page. When you are ready to proceed, visit grants.gov and follow the links to applicants and then individual registration. Then click on the button to get registered as an individual. You will then be prompted to enter the FON for the grant you are applying for. 
After entering the FON, then click on the register button at the bottom of the screen. Before registering as an individual for a particular grant, make sure that the grant is available to individuals. If the grant is not offered to individuals, but you try to enter its FON to register, you will receive an error message when you click register. 4. Complete the personal identification information. You will be redirected to a new screen to enter your name, telephone number, and email address. You will create a user ID and password so you can return to your application at any time. 5. Visit your Applicant Center page. After you register and create a user ID and password, you will be redirected to the Applicant Center page. This is your personal page. You will use this page to apply for specific grants, check on the status of applications that you have previously submitted, and get information about new grant opportunities. A list of useful resources appears in a box at the left of the screen. These include Apply for Grants, Manage My Workspaces, and Applicant Tools Tips. Part 4 Registering as an Organization at Grants.gov 1. Obtain a DUNS number for your organization. The first step to registering with Grants.gov is to obtain a DUNS number through Dun Bradstreet. This is a unique number in the Data Universal Numbering System. DUNS, that is administered by Dun Bradstreet. It is a unique, nine digit identification number for every business. The first time that you apply for a DUNS number, the process can take a few days, so you need to plan ahead when applying. You can obtain your DUNS number by telephone at 866 705 5711. You can apply for a DUNS number online at 2. Register with the System for Award Management, SAM. SAM is a federally maintained site that verifies the eligibility of organizations to do business with the federal government. You will need to visit this site and register the names of any individuals in your organization who will be participating in the grant application process. This step can take up to a week or two. It may take longer if your organization does not already have an employer identification number. 3. Complete your GrantsGov profile. After completing the first two steps, you will return to grants.gov and register your organization. You will be asked for identifying information about the organization and the individuals submitting the application. You will be prompted to create a user ID and password as well. This final step can be completed in minutes. You will then be prompted to your Applicant Center page to begin any applications or monitor pending applications.